Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here today. I have a huge Aldi haul for you guys. I did a delivery today with Instacart because I just couldn't get out of the house. I have a lot going on this week. And anyways, I got delivery. My Instacart girl was awesome. So everything looks great. I'm so excited to get into this haul with you. If you like videos like this, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And guys, follow me over on Instagram at Sarah Braxton. And yeah, let's just get into this huge Aldi haul. All right guys, so I'm gonna get into this grocery haul. Okay, so I always start out on the side with the eggs and the bread. So I got two dozen eggs today. I also got a extra sharp cheddar cheese. Just needed one of those. I also picked up a string cheese. We just love all these string cheese. That's just such a good snack to have on hand. And then I got some homestyle guacamole. I've never tried the homestyle. I usually just get like the original. Um, I think this one has like more of a salsa vibe to it. So this looked really good for taco night coming up here. I also got some salted sweet cream butter just to have on hand for baking. I got some sour cream for taco night. And then I got a half and half for coffee. I also picked up some romaine hearts for salad coming up this week. Some garlic, I was out. And then I also got some peppers. And then I got a good amount of bread this time around. I got some English muffins for breakfast sandwiches and eggs benedict, stuff like that. I also got these bomb brioche hot dog buns. They're so good. If you guys have not tried these out, you have to do so. It is definitely something I recommend. Then I got my bread that I get every single week almost, and that is the knock your sprouts off sprouted bread. That's the kind of bread I like to use. I also picked up this oat and honey bread, which looks really good. Um, I have not tried this out, so I'm looking forward to seeing if this is good for sandwiches. Got some of this Brianna's home style um, Caesar dressing and I have not tried this out. This looks really good. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. And then back here I got some bananas, some baby spinach. I also picked up some little avocados. These are great for avocado toast. So excited about that. I haven't had that in a while. And then I got some lemons just to have in the fridge. And then for my pantry, I picked up two Priano four cheese sauce, um, pasta sauce. This is my favorite one at Aldi. And some mayonnaise. I needed some more Dukes. Dukes is my favorite. So I highly recommend that if you've not tried it out. It's so much creamier than Hellman's. And then back here hiding, I got some little sweet bites. Tomatoes on the vine. These look so good. Like I am like so excited to try these out. They just looked like, they look really vibrant and plump. And then we're, since we're back here, we I got some Cafe Bastello ground coffee. This is really good for espresso. And then I got myself some decaf coffee because I don't like to drink caffeine because it makes me jittery and feel anxious. So I'm trying to stay off of it. So I got myself some of this just to have to uh, make like a little decaf iced latte here and there. For baking, I got some of my favorite semi-sweet Belgian chocolate chunks. These are so good, guys. You have to try them out. They're just amazing. For my daughters, I got stuff for s'mores. We don't have like an outdoor fire pit or anything like that. So we just do s'mores in the oven. So I got them some Hershey's milk chocolate and then some graham crackers. I already have the marshmallows. I got some Never Any oven roasted turkey breast, my favorite lunch meat brand at Aldi. I got some breakfast sausage. And then for Eggs Benedict or breakfast sandwiches, I got some of this breakfast ham slices and I like how big they are. You could also just fry these up with an egg. I think that'd be so yummy. Some of this shaved beef steak. We love to use this in like ramen or in like a noodle Asian type dish. It's really yummy. I picked up some ground beef just to have in the freezer. And then a big ground turkey as well. That is for tacos. And then I just got the ground beef just to have on hand. For tacos, I got some of the, the Aldi original taco seasoning mix. I got two of those. I love their taco shells, so I got two boxes of those as well. And then the refried beans. I just love all of this. It's so good. I find it way better than just the average stores 
taco seasoning and their shells. So I highly recommend it, you gotta try it out. I got some kettle chips to have in the pantry and then some blue corn tortilla chips. Last week I got some fresh salsa from a farm market and I have not opened it yet. So I'm looking forward to using these blue corn tortilla chips with the salsa. If you guys wanna check out my last, last week's farm market haul, it's in my day in the life vlog that I did last week. It's so much fun. We went to the farm market and I took you inside. So yeah, if that sounds good to you, don't forget to go watch that video after this video. I also got some sea salt pita chips. These are really good. And then some honey made graham crackers for snacking and the s'mores that I told you about earlier. These are the favorites original wheat crackers. And then some black Angus unseasoned six beef patties. These are really good for just a bomb burger. Highly recommend them guys. I've gotten them twice now. Some tilapia fillets. Um, these are frozen. Same with these burgers just to have in the freezer. I love to make like tilapia, like a lemon pepper tilapia or something like that with those. I'm gonna be making a tater totter, <laughs> a tater tot casserole coming up here. I haven't made that in a long time, so I got some of these potato puffs, which are like are Aldi's version of tater tots. So that's what those are for. I also got some of these sweet potato waffle fries for if we do like burgers one night. Those are really good. And then like a salad, some sweet peas. I made some chicken curry last night and I needed more peas to accompany that. And then these are so good guys. I've tried these out once before. These are the Prince Edward medley. So it's like a fancy little frozen vegetable mix with green beans, wax beans, and carrots. And I just highly recommend them. These are kind of like an Aldi find though. So I don't know if they'll have them for much longer. And then getting into the Aldi finds, the fun things. So this week they had screaming Sicilian pepperoni pizzas and these are the thin crust. We love thin crust in this house. So these are perfect for us. I got two of them because they are a good pizza and they were only $5 each. So highly recommend them. And then this week they had this black bean dip, which is black beans with red peppers and chickpeas. That just looks really good to dip the blue tortilla chips in or the pita chips. They also had these Wahlburgers beef uncured hot dogs. So they have no nitrates, no preservatives. So they just look clean and I have not tried anything from Wahlburgers. I wanted to try those out. And those are perfect to accompany the brioche hot dog rolls that I got. And then they had these spa candles this week, which I got for our bathroom because sometimes it's just really relaxing to light a candle while you're taking a shower or bath. And this is the Calming Plus Tranquil Lavender Time Soy Blend Scented Candle and it smells so good. It smells just like a spa. And they had a whole bunch of these scents. Um, this one was most intriguing to me because I love lavender. So it just smells very relaxing. I'm really excited to light this. They got the little wood top, which is nice and that's what it looks like inside. And this is a pretty nice size candle. So those are $4.99, which is a pretty good price for a candle, especially a soy blend candle. I love all these candles. And then last but not least, guys, I got myself a, an adult coloring book. One of my sisters, she recommends coloring books. So she's been doing coloring books and she's been doing them for a while now. She keeps telling me about them. So she inspired me to get myself one because I need to get off Instagram and um, social media. Don't even be on there as much and I thought this would be a good way to just chill out and relax. So if you're watching Rachel, thank you. And yeah, I'm gonna color, I'm so excited. I've never had an adult coloring book. I like to draw and paint myself, but I've never actually just gotten myself a coloring book. And this one's so cute. It's the tropical one. They had a whole bunch of different varieties and this one just looks so cute. I love the sloth and just all the animals. So I think they'll be really relaxing. Okay guys, so this is future Sarah. Um, I realized I didn't show you guys the inside of this. I'm putting everything away and it, I didn't realize you could look inside. I thought it was like a box. Anyways, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of what's inside. So it comes with some pens to color with to get you started if you don't have your own, which I don't, so that's perfect. And then it has this cute little coloring pad in here and it has all sorts of fun designs. These look amazing to color in and so relaxing, I'm sure. So there's leaves, there's fish, 
oranges, just all sorts of fun designs. I love the flamingo. And yeah, just look at that, it's so pretty. And those are just gonna be really fun and chill to color in. And it also, it says that it includes five dual-ended markers. That is so cool. So you have like the really tiny end and then like a thicker end that has more of a tip so you can color in a bigger area. And now back to the grocery haul. <laughs> So anyways guys, that is my Aldi haul this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. And if you're not part of my YouTube family, like I said, hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell. And leave me a comment down below guys. I love to chat with you guys and hang out with you guys in the comments. Tell me how you're doing this week and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>